No, I mean, I never threw my hair in a lot of the barriers to like me competing at the top. You know, I don't see myself as a sort of someone with a hearing loss in the hearing world. I am myself. You know, the fact that I wear hearing aids is just another part of my makeup. I had a hearing loss from birth, but I didn't get picked up to about five because it uh, progressively decreased. I grew up wanting to be a sportsman, always. You know, that's what I always did. And, you know, obviously when, when I went to school, started playing sport when I was about seven. It's all I ever wanted to do. And I got to about 14 and it sort of, you know, do I focus on my rugby more than my cricket? And I joined the local rugby club. So yeah, and then the rugby was the future really and I don't play cricket anymore, unfortunately. So yeah, I know rugby you know, was always the way, really. I'm currently wearing Fonac Nadia 9s in both ears and sometimes training in the rain. So the, the water resistantness of the Fonac Nadia 9s are really helpful for that. So with my previous hearing aids, maybe I'd have interference when they got wet. So obviously I don't have that anymore. I also have the ability of using the smart link um, when I'm training and also the compilot when I'm on the mobile phone or the TV. But when I got fitted with the Nardio 9, there was a different level of power from the previous hearing aids I had. So uh, as soon as I had them fitted, the power there was there straight away. And you know, while it took a couple of hours maybe to get used to the different level of noise and hearing different sounds, I thought, well, hang on, you know, what's that, what's that? But yeah, now I'm comfortable with what, what I've got and really happy with them. The only time I take my hearing aid advice to that is when I go to bed, which is welcomed because I get a good 10 hours sleep most nights without distraction. My favourite sound is the bugle. The last post from the bugle is my favourite sound. It's so point in, in British history, I think, as well. Not just, not just the sound, but also the meaning of it all, you know, sort of the history behind it. There's no reason not to address the hearing loss. You know, you're not going to be any different to anyone else in society. It's not going to stop you from achieving anything you want to achieve. So in anything, it's going to enhance your ability to achieve your goals and your dreams.